Atong tagaan si Lord masipang pakpak. Good evening everyone. Kumusta naman ta? Ha? Ah, okay, thank you. Kasing butang lasen ako diri. Salamat. All right. So, for uh, tonight, medyo technical tagamay ha sa akong ipang discuss, no? Because this is about um it has something to do with, to do with our Lord Jesus. But at the same time, we'll try our best nga ma-relate na to sa tong tagsatag sa kakinabuhi kung unsa man gani atong makatunan karon kay mao man jud na idapat, di ba? I-relate na to ang makatunan nato kang Lord sa tong kinabuhi. Amen. Amen. So, our talk for tonight would be about retracing humanity. Okay? So, here ang atong uh, goal ni ining gabi una is to be able to find oneself no in the humanity of Christ. Okay, we can only see our own humanity if we are able to understand the humanity of Jesus. Diba? Sacred heart ba yata? And to have a heart means to be human. And Jesus also became human like us. Right? So, niining maong uh, talk, uh, there, is this, there are these questions that I want you to ponder. Number one, who am I? And this question, who am I, this eh, refers to our own identity. Kinsa man yun ta? Kinsa man ta? I don't know if you have questioned that to yourself. Kanang kinsa man mo. Diba? Kaduha, what am I here for? No? So in other words, what's my purpose? What's the meaning of my life? And, number three, what is it to be truly human? Now, it refers to our dynamic existence, meaning to say, wala ta nag-exist nga muraratag mga kahoy sa kahumayan. No? Our existence is dynamic. Naatay kinahanglang buhaton for us to be truly human. So, ang atong discussion karon would actually answer the following questions. Who am I? What am I here for? And what is it to be truly human? That's why let us retrace our own humanity. So ang atong uh, basic text ani would be coming from the encyclical of Pope John Paul II, no? Redemptor Ominis. No, kana siyang Redemptor Ominis, Redeemer of Man, trivia lang ni. Mauna'y first encyclical ni Pope John Paul II. Kay sa iyang pontificate, no, di rin niya gilatag kung unsa mang yun ang iyang paglangtaw o unsa ang iyang platform para sa simbahan during his pontificate. Anak man ang mga Santo Papa, no? inig unang tuig anak nila, maghatag man na sila platform po, no? So, ang mga Santo Papa, in first year nila, they will also give us, murag mga presidente ba? They will also give us their own program, their own platform, unsay vision nila para sa simbahan. And to think, ang first encyclical ni Pope John Paul II, the Redemptor Ominis, it was made in 1979. Okay? He was elected Pope 1978, no? So, iyang gilatag ang iyang platform and we had the book, 1979. And it took him so many long years as Pope. And unsa mang iyang purpose nga nung kato iyang gihimo because matod pa niya, he wants humanity, no? He wants humanity to regain back its own humanity in Christ. Kay katong mga tayo mamanggod, ang mga tao gikan sgira, daghan ka ayo og mga na pressure sa work kay industrial revolution no industrial revolution unya ang technology was already advancing in that year 1979 so moto nga murag nawala na ang sense sa tao sa ilang pagkatao kay ang pananaw na lang sa tao sa ilang kaugalingon mura nag machine no so that's why Pope John Paul II gilatag ni ang maong platform and karon nakita nato nga even until now relevant gihapon ang maong platform niya okay so in that same encyclical makita nato kini nga words no 
Perfectus Deus, Perfectus Homo. It means perfect God, perfect man. And that refers to Jesus. No? So, kaniha, this is a matter of catechism. This is a matter of doctrine. Okay? We are not only here to experience the faith, but we are also here to learn the faith. And if mo learn ta sa faith, kinahanglan na to siya iproclaim po nga sakto nga dos ubang tao. So, Jesus is perfect God and perfect man. Okay? Makita na to diri nga the unique and altogether singular event of the incarnation of the Son of God does not mean no, that Jesus Christ is part God and part man. Moingon ganitag perfect man, perfect God si Jesus. Dili na 50-50. Ha? It, it doesn't mean 50% human, 50% God, or nisod siya sa usa ka tao, nisod siya sa usa ka tao. No, 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 no. Jesus is 100% human as He is 100% God. Walay confusion, walay division, o wala tay himuon, nga himuon na to siyang 3 in 1, dili, no? Or 2 in 1 si Jesus. He is perfect God and perfect man. Mone, he became truly man, while remaining truly God. So, Jesus Christ is true God and true man. Okay? So, si St. Paul, niingon po na siya nga, he became like us, no? Except sin. Okay? Karun, Father, di ba masayop magyod ng tao? So, kung dili maksa si Jesus, dili gud siya tinuod nga tao, kaya di man siya makasa, ah, 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 dili. Kaya nga naman, Remember that God created man without sin. Di ba? Pag himugso sa tao, wamang gito siya isa. That was the original man. Pero ang atong first parents, nakasaman, sila ang hinungdan. Dili si God. That is why, kung si Jesus ganit, true God and true man, sakto rag yun, nga except sin. Wa siya isa. Kaya in the first place, the original man was created without sin. No? Okay? Nasabta na? Klaro ba? So, if naanay mo tulig sa anatohan, anatay ka di pinsa. No? 100% God, 100% man. Okay? And then, proceed na ta aning, unsa may unod aning Redemptor Ominis ni Pope John Paul II. First, okay, that the Redeemer of man, Jesus, is the center of the universe and of history. Now, nakuy gi-highlight din ha 2000, no? Unya gisuwat ni niya 1979. Pero John Paul II was already envisioning unsay mahitabo many years after, especially in the year 2000 and so on and so forth. That is why he wants us to focus that the center of the universe is Jesus, the redeemer of man. Ganuman, maabot naman ta sa panahon nga ang uban nato maghuna-huna na nga dili na ang Ginoo ang center of the universe. Which is nahitabo karon or dili? Nahitabo no. So meaning the encyclical of John Paul II was very prophetic. He knew that one day daghan natong mga tao makalimot na nga ang center sa kalibutan ang Ginoo. Unya, ang mahimong center ang ato ng kaugalingon, the eye. Okay? Then, following, or, nadiha o, foresee some events. No? Iya na nang nakitan. For the church, the people of God spread, although unevenly to the most distant limits of the earth, it will be a great, a year of great jubilee. So the year 2000, of course, was a year of great jubilee. I don't know if nakahinumdum naka pa mo sa theme song, it's a time of joy, a time of peace, a time when hearts are then set free, time to heal the wounds or division. Ah. Sa mga millennials, nakaabot pa mi. <laughs> o sa katong mga before sa millennials. <laughs> okay, so here, ang problem nga nakita ni John Paul II, no? in the future, when he was writing the encyclical, is this the losing of one's sense of identity and the losing of one's sense of purpose. Diba? Karun, muna na. 
wala na may meaning akong life no kung wala siya wa na sad ko hindi ba char kayo nagka-char namang mga tao ron no mo na naka nag ambot nga nung kinsa may nagimbento ang word nga maoy sad oy okay look at this kanay ko lang ni siya for learning purposes only okay so there is already the sense of fashion the sense of trend nga ang atong identity makuha na lang nato kung unsay uso nya kung wala ta sa uso wa ra sad ta no di ba kabantay mo anang mga kwan sa facebook kung ikaw 25 na ka magminyo na ka no kung di pa gani ka minyo nga 25 na ka hala wa na kay bili ni ining kalibutan ingon na ba no okay Okay, what are the factors that trigger the losing of one's sense of identity and purpose? First is our own environment. Of course, drugs, social media, no? And of course, mga culture, ngayon may ingunani, war, di ba war? Uy, speaking of kuan ba, kanang nakakita ko nga kuan, barato ko no ang pilgrimage karon sa euro 50% basta ukraine og russia imong adtuan ito na <laughs> okay basahon ta ni be 1 2 3 go everyone's existence is tied to that of others life is not time merely passing by life is about interactions okay so whether we like it or not my dear friends ang our existence ang atong kinabuhi they will be always tied with the people around us. Sa, of course, first and foremost, sa atong mga kaila, ikaduha sa uban. So, life will always be about how we interact with each other. Okay? That's Pope Francis already. Okay. Balik na po tadiri kang John Paul II. So, the human dimension of the mystery of redemption. Remember, nga, ang giluwas ni Jesus, man, no? Kita, mga tao. So, there is a human dimension to this mystery nga sa iyang kaluwasan. So, may pasabot ni ini good. Okay. First, di ba? Jesus came here for God so loved the world that He gave us His only Son that whoever believes in Him will not perish but will have eternal life. That's John 3.16. Okay. So, here, the emphasize that man cannot live without love. No? So, first, Man can't live without love. He remains a being that is incomprehensible for himself. His life is senseless if love is not revealed to him. That is why, Nadire, Christ the Redeemer fully reveals man to himself. Because God is love, and when, when, when we are able to experience God's love, ang atong humanity will be revealed to us. But only by Christ. Only by the love of Christ. Sa so, gugma gina sa Dios ang mahatag nato o kana bitong purpose. Ma-reveal nato kung unsa gyud ta. And our life without will be meaningless without Christ, without God, without love. Okay? And in this dimension, the expression of love, man finds again the greatness, the dignity and value that belong to his humanity. In other words, I am loved, therefore, I exist. That's quoting from St. Augustine. I exist because I am loved. And who first loved me? God. Huh? That is why, because God has loved me, I am able to live. I am able to exist. And that is our identity, that we have been loved by God. Okay? And of course, this love needs to be shared. And that is why the purpose of my existence is to share my love. Okay? So the man who wishes to understand himself thoroughly, gibutang din ha, no? Wait, wait. And not uh, and not just in accordance with immediate, partial, often superficial, and even illusory standards and measures of his being, 
He must, with his unrest, uncertainty, and even his weakness and sinfulness, with his life and death, draw near to Christ. Meaning to say, kung ginahanta nga masabda ng atong kaugalingon yun, bahalag unsa pata ka makasasala, bahalag unsa pata ka lonely, bahalag unsa pata ka despairing, ka hopeless, we need to hold on to our faith, which is that Christ alone can reveal to us who we are. One example is this. Si Saint Maria Faustina, no? katong sa apparition sa Divine Mercy, he, she underwent depression. No? Grabe ang iyang depression. To the point, good nga, when she would go to her spiritual director, muingon good ang iyang spiritual director nga, kinahanglan, mukatawa ka, o gusog kayo ten times a day. No? Kay grabe naman good kayo ito iyang depression. O niya, ang iyang sense of depression was, there is absence of God. She did not feel God. Arita sa mas makarelate pag yun ta. Kaila man ta ng Mother Teresa, no? Of Calcutta. Now, when she died, Mother Teresa of Calcutta, her diary was published. And in her diary, we were able to find out na she was suffering from depression for 40 years. 40 years! No? 40 years siya nag-suffer of depression. And her words were like, God seems absent. I feel useless. I feel that I am nothing. Imagina ang kanabitaong naong ni Mother Teresa. When we imagine Mother Teresa, we can see her smile. Diba? Then we can see her passion for the poor. Pero behind that smile, the eye, behind that depression, behind that passion, there is this woman suffering from depression for 40 years. And katong depression na wala lang to few years lang just before she died. Imagina. Pero what was holding on? Kung sa may iyang gikuptan, bahalag di niya feel ang presence ni Lord, pero bisag sa huna-huna na lang maingon siya, I have to hold on to my thought that Christ is here. Bahalag di na ko mabati din hi, sa huna-huna na lang, I have to hold on that Christ is here. Forty years na ha nga nag-depression, kita gani, one day lang, one aga, maoy na ta. How much more kung 40 years? Imagine, 40 years. And see, usahay ang ginoo mo, reveal na to when we are, no, in our greatest desolations. Kinsa sa inyo karon ang nahook sa The Chosen? Oo, ay makarelate. At least natay chikahan ron natin. <laughs> no? Um, wala may ko ano, wala may theaters di rin, no? Murag wala, no? So maghuwat pa ta sa episode 7, ugma. Okay, even na eh. In the season 2 of Chosen, by the way, sa katong mga dilik ka relate, hindi na lang tamo, ang kaning Chosen, it's um, the life of Jesus, the life and ministry of Jesus. Dili siya historical, no? Nga historical nga, as in faithful kay sa history, Pero ang nakanindot niya ang conversations, right? No, ang iyang conversations. Because you would feel nga ang mga apostles ni Jesus, they are very alive. No? And then, ang ilang mga words ka nang makarelate ba? Okay. Karon, nai usa din ha ka-episode nga gikonfront ni St. James si Jesus. Nakakuan mo si Little James. Ako lang ni isang itchika sa uban. So, para sa ninyong tanan. Now, Ang context ani is, nakahinom do man tanga in the Gospels, di ba, niingon man si Jesus na, I am sending you two by two. No? Aron, ayuhon ninyong masakiton, 
inyong papahawaon ang mga demonyo unya inyong uh, inyong ayuhon ang mga mga nay mga balatian of course when jesus told his disciples about that ang mga apostles pud sure oi eh. ano sure oi eh. murag nag nasyak pud sila ba and then one of these was james so pag human ato nila meeting meeting gi confront ni james si jesus And then si James here was presented as a uh, crippled man, makimpang-kimpang ba, no? Crippled man. So yung gidul si Jesus. Sa Master, kanang sakto bang akong nadungog nga imo may ipadala sa mga masakiton, blah blah blah, aron ayuhon sila. And then ingo si Jesus, that's true. You've heard it right. Kay bomo sa gitubag ni James, ingon siya, pag sure diha Ako gani nga imuha na kay kong suod, wa man gani ko nimo ayuha. Ako na noon mo ayo ngadto sa uban. And then Jesus said to James, "You know I did not heal you because I trusted you." Huh? Himong si James nga. Unsa may kalabutan anang imong pagsalig nako sa imong pag-ayo nako? Then Jesus continued on. Kay ang kanang imong pag-ayo sa uban despite your imperfection despite your being crippled that would be a greater story to tell than your own healing di ba murag nakapamalandong to si G- si James ba sakto no then ingon si Jesus yes so that the people will know that physical healing is not the only thing that matters but there are also people like you who are suffering from their own wounds, their own imperfections, their own weaknesses, their own sicknesses, yet they can still bring healing to other people. Bisag mauna ang ilang gisinati. And that is what we call inspiration. Amen? Atong pagpaka ng gino. So my dear friends, even here in our sinfulness, in our weaknesses, in the brink of life and death, cling on even to the thought that Jesus is our Savior, that Jesus loves you. Because, wa ta kay baw, nga bisan pagtuod, dili ni mo feel ang presence ni Lord, bisag tuod, adun na kay mga kasakit, nga wa niya ayuha, pero tungod kay ni kuput ka sa imong pagtuo, many people will be inspired by what you are doing. And that many people who are inspired can also receive the healing that they need. Amen. See, it doesn't mean that we have to be healed in order for us to proclaim that Christ loves us. Sometimes it is through our own weaknesses, it is through our own sickness, it is through our own struggles that other people can also receive their own healing because of us. Amen. Continue. Okay? And so, he must so speak, man, enter into him with all his own self. He must appropriate and assimilate the whole of the reality of the incarnation and redemption in order to find himself. That is why every time, no, nga aduna tayong mga kasakit, I unite myself, Lord, to your passion, to your suffering. Lord, I unite myself to your own pain. Because after all, pag save ni Jesus na to, wa man niya tang tanga ang pain. But rather, He transformed pain to something else. And by means of pain and suffering, we can actually participate in His salvific work. Amen. So, this is our goal. That Christ, the goal here, that Christ united Himself with each man. With each of us, no? Each of us has our own story to tell. Ginihan na tayo mga sharers, na atay testimonies. Because here, Christ has found us, we relate to Him. Okay? And it is also our goal that each person may be able to find Christ. Okay? May be able to find Christ in His or her own story. Alright? And so, Let me give you this. Puros naman to teyuri kanina. How do now, how now 
how do I no, appropriate Christ in me? In other words, saon man ako pag make alive ang presence ni Christ, dinhin ako. Okay? Arita sa atong mga signal. Aduna tay. Okay. The prayer life in 4Gs. Pero gipunan na anak ko kay 5G naman taron. So 5G na na siya. Okay? Number one, go to Mass and confession. Okay? So, remember, when we are the Mass, the highest form of prayer. Okay? And in the highest form of prayer, this is the way we relate to God in our prayer. But the highest form would always be the Mass. And of course, makasaman ta, it's also important that we go to confession. Amen? Second, grab, oh, grab, grab your Bible, your journal and notes. Sulat-sulat mo, panagsa, pinamaalaala mo kaya. And read also the Bible. Because ang Bible are actually the stories of people who have encountered God in their lives. Tanawa dahil na ninyo, kang kinsa mo mas makarelate. No? Mura bitaw, actually the chosen, di ba kabantay mo sa mga apostles? Karon makahuna-una mo, asa ka ani nila no mas makarelate ko. Di ba? Hmm. Ako na na ako a secret lang ng kinsa. And then from time to time gaze no at Jesus in the blessed sacrament. No? Every time you go to the church no, you visit our Lord the blessed sacrament so gaze at our Lord. And then give to those who are in need. Okay? Give to those who are needed. In other words, reach out. Now, kung makabantay mo anang mga kanabitaong mga self-care ng mga tips, no? Self-care or mental health care ng mga tips, di dyan na mawa din ha nga ingon sila nga reach out to others. Because that is also how we find purpose in life. Panalitan, kamu karon. if you find your, if nai uba na to din hikaron nga we now find ourselves nagluya na tanya. We find our lives meaningless. Try reaching out to others. And actually, that would help. That would help you find meaning in life again when you reach out. So, give to those who are in need. And glorify God always by your life. Be thankful, be grateful. So, these are the five Gs, o di ba? Go, grab, gaze, give, glorify. Right? Okay. And then, of course, sincere commitment. No? Sincere commitment na to kung asa man tahanin yung kinabuhi. Because, no? Promises will always, are always meant to be fulfilled, not to be broken. Di ba? Promises are always meant to be fulfilled. Now, when you're able to fulfill your promises, the more human you will become. No? Kay ang tao gitagaan gud na siya gasa sa Ginoo to be able to commit to be able to fulfill his promises. So the more we fulfill our promises, the more human we will become. And you also need to have good advisors and good friends. Okay? So to help us find meaning in life, to help us retrace again our humanity. In other words, we need God and in needing God, we also need each other. Amen? Amen. Okay. Pwede rin ninyo i-share ha, total na, anaman sa nidir eh. And of course, know the realities of life. Of, um, kay Bota, kung sa'y atong giatubang sa kalibutan ka ron, aware ta, kung sa'y ginahitabo na ito, aware ta in our, the own realities of our life, no? our own imperfections, our own weaknesses, our own triggers, no? aware ta ni Ana. So these are the ways so we are able to retrace again our humanity. So, um, ako na lang ning isegue, kay nagkuan man ta go to mass and confession. Happy naman gong Lent, <laughs> no? February 22 Ash Wednesday naman good, no? So the importance of the Eucharist and penance. Remember that the Eucharist is the center and the summit of all of all our life of the whole life. So, our lives revolves around the Mass. And Jesus, when, every time we receive Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, no, whenever we receive Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, we are replenished. We are strengthened. Okay? Matod pang St. John Vianney, niingon siya nga, it's better for the world 
it's better for us to live without the Son than to live without the Eucharist. No? Okay. Anak yun na siya. Okay? So, um, also, we also need to give back to God what He truly deserves. And what does He deserve? No, at least a committed and clean heart. Anong kamot? And our hearts are cleansed whenever we receive penance, whenever we receive the sacrament of confession. Okay? And in the sacrament of confession, na ay penance, which is actually an expression of sacrifice. And sacrifice is an important element of love because there can never be true love without sacrifice. Pang February 14, nani siya. Okay? So there can be no true love without sacrifice. So remember that. No? So, you know, matod pa, muna ako nainumduman ay, the bravest people are the broken-hearted people. You know why? Ask me why. Because they dared to love. Amen? Pakpak! <laughs> because if you dare to love, no, if you dare to love, you will always be prepared to be broken-hearted. Okay? Only those, only the broken-hearted can be considered the bravest because they dare to love. Even if hindi naman sinusuklian yung pagmamahal nila. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sige. Dayon ta. Okay. O si Asar ta maabot din he. Okay. So, by celebrating and also partaking of the Eucharist, we unite ourselves with Christ on earth and in heaven who intercedes for us in the Father. So, ang atong source of strength will not just be coming from ourselves, it will also come from others and it will also come from the people up there. Diba? So, mas ligon ta, mas isog ta. Which is also true, tanawa. Ang mga tao bitaw, daagi kalahian, those who are suffering from depression or whatsoever, anything in life, no, related to mental health, kung wala ang ginoo, mas lisod sila muko. Amen? So, muna atong i- exercise if you know people around you who are suffering please bring Christ to them no bring Christ to them because lahi ang coping mechanism nato with Christ mo ni ang nakalahi sad sa kanabitaw of course this is not to kanabitaw underrate no atong mga psychologists or whatsoever pero kung ang usa ka psychologist no that there is always divine intervention, lahi ragyod. No? Lahi ragyod. Because we know that the divine, that God can always be there for us, can strengthen us. Okay? Amen. And then, okay, so, when we receive the sacrament of penance and the Eucharist, okay, again, this is the sacrifice of Jesus Himself, we are reminded. And we are also reminded of the value of our own sacrifices. Huh? That it's worth, huh? it's worth the pain and it's worth the sacrifice. Okay. So, just some pits to avoid. No? Kani masin marilate ni ninyo. Once you will be able to know these pits, mga pitfalls, at least makaibaw na mo nga, ah, kanay mo, rag, huna, huna, rag yun din ako. Okay? So, if you are uh, on the brink of losing one's purpose or one's identity, remember these pits to avoid. Number one, the inception syndrome. Movie ni siyang inception, pero meaning to say ani is, when you are living in your dream world, no? Living in your dream world. What does that mean? Okay? Oh, when you are in your dream world, always remember nga, di jud ka kalihok, because you're always dreaming. Okay? Kung kay baw ka, nga dili mo para ka mo, ay nalang yun, pugsa. Kaya magsigira ka damgo, ana. No? And here comes, ang consequence, ana, there will always be crisis in commitment, because you are not grounded sa reality. No? You are just grounded with what you think. Then, of course, you have your illusory dreams. No? Sige lang kagadamgo. Oh? Sige lang kagadamgo. 
And part of that is the Facebook culture or the dream self. No? The dream self. Onya ang imong e-identity. No? So you're not anymore grounded sa reality. Kaya ang imong huna-huna sa imong kaugalingon, TikTok naman lang. No? Anything about social media. Right? So avoid this one, ha? So usahay kana bitawong mga ang ang resulta pod sa social media nato ilabin ang kanang mga Instagram o Facebook no hala sana all lo nindot lagi siyag kuan hamis lagi siyag kuan daghan lagi siyag reacts daghan siyag followers no di ba hmm tigtan aw mog kuan kanang sani dirty linen Nya inyo ra mga followers ang inyong gikuan, iyo na una. Another one is the maybe generation syndrome, no? Hiding behind short-term goals to avoid deeper decisions. Maybe sana it prevents us from becoming a promise maker. Of course, kung ang atong una una is maybe, pwede ra gyud nga it can prevent us from breaking our promises. But ang problema sa ana it also prevents us from committing to relationships. Okay? Kay short term raman. Maybe. Tingali. No? And of course, the disadvantage of having short term goals. So, dili lang ko maguna o nag long term. Kay basin, mapakyas ra ko. Basin, magbuwag rami. No? So, if ingon ana atong mindset, Huwag ito eh. Huwag ito ay padulungan. No? Okay, puro sa buwag atong giyuna-una. Hmm. Then here, oh, finding Nemo syndrome. <laughs> so it's letting the failures keep you down. Okay? So, of course, fear of God, the fear of oneself, the fear of your own wounds, the fear of risking. So, if you fear failing, Dili pod ka ka progress. Remember that. All right? Or the fear of getting it wrong, no? Di na lang ko ano oi kay basig nga masayop niya ako. Okay? Okay? Fear of getting it wrong. So that's the finding Nemo syndrome. And then you also have the Superman syndrome, no? It means you are waiting sign from God, no? Mura kag si Juan de la Cruz. Naghuwat lang matagak ang apple. Okay? So, muni mga sign searching. Ala, oy, viva magenta. Swerte ka ng viva magenta. Karong to iga. No? Magsigitag sign. Sign na ba? Nga siya? Hmm. Bitaw? So, na yung ingon nga. Kung sa may sign nga siya, ah, basta, naibuhok. <laughs> naibuhok. Huwag kita kung pa. Kasi, daghana nila, no? Okay, and not using one's intelligence. Okay? So, yeah, because we are simply waiting and waiting, so, that's the Superman syndrome. Right? And of course, the Titanic syndrome. Okay, bong ano na Titanic? Ang nahinom duman lang nako ano kay i-reshow ang Titanic karon kay 25 years na. No? Okay? So it's uh, actually ang gibutang din ha it's bad advice coming from good friends. Sometimes our friends are good pero dili sila maayong advisors, no? 'Di ba? Kana bitaw mo ingon nga saon man ni nako uy nga magsige naman lang big away. Mo ingon sa imong friend, hala buwag na lang na. Unya love pa man ako siya. Aw oh, di pagpakigbalik lang good. Oh, 'di ba? Si <laughs> klaro tanan. <laughs> so here our attachments okay ang attachments na to no maikog na ta mga chains yeah attachments and chains so these are the pits that we need to avoid so if you're experiencing those okay hinumdumi lang nga these are the ones hindering you to reclaiming your own sense of identity your own sense of purpose no all right And, of course, no, I would always um, bring her in the conversation. Mama Mary, the mother in whom we trust. Okay? Remember lang yun eh. 
when it was Mama Mary, the most important thing that we have learned from her is this, that she has the heart of a mother. Okay? The reason her heart must also have the inaccessibility of a mother. In the same way that we humans, no, kita ang atong pagkatao, even if we have been aware of ourselves already, pero ang nakanindot usahay that we realize also ourselves, we are also a mystery to ourselves. No? And to be able to understand a mystery to ourselves, let's look at the mothers. Okay? The mothers are the examples of human beings that are so full of mysteries. No? Di takay bo kung asa na nila gikuha ang kanang maong strength nila, no? Ang kanang maong ilang passion, no? And how they are able to care 100%, no? How life would come from them, no? Kana, these are part of the mysteries of the mother. And Mary herself has lived mysteries in her life from being the mother of God from facing many realities many trials and sufferings as well okay all the things that happened to her were actually mysteries but what was the attitude of Mary what was the reaction of Mary she still remained humble and in facing her own sufferings she united herself with the suffering of her son so kita said no ingon ana in the experience, uh, in the times that we find ourselves so mysterious, let us all remember that Christ is there. Let us be assured, even in our thoughts, that Christ will always be with us, no matter what. No? Kung kamo hilig mo og TikTok, nindot kayo ni siya nga kanta. I see your monster, I see your pain. Tell me your problems, I'll chase them away. I'll be your lighthouse when you're not okay. I'll be your monster. No? Muna ba to? I see your monster and I'll chase them all away. Diba? Naa din na. Okay? So, Christ sees our own imperfection. Christ sees our own weaknesses. And remember that always. And... Kana bitong linya nga nindot kayo sa tanan not because of who I am but because of what you've done not because of what I've done but because of who you are I am a flower quickly fading diba who am I not because of who I am but because of what you have done Lord and not also because of what I have done, but because of who you are, Lord God. And so we retrace our humanity back. We reclaim our humanity by reclaiming our faith in Christ. Because it is only in Christ that man is fully revealed. With that, I end this, and thank you very much for listening.